Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to find out a message from your person. Someone's in trouble, I can feel it. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you which pile that is. <laughs> I can feel somebody's in deep, deep doo-doo. Uh, anyway, I hope it's not you, collective. I hope it's not you. Anyway, let's start with pile one, two, and three. This is the wild card here. We don't know what the hell that says, huh? We're not sure. It says something on the other side. One, two, and three. If you guys want a personal with me, all the information is in the description. Let's get started. Hey, gorgeous. Welcome to your reading. Hello, hello. Those who chose. God, you are so fucking stunning. Actually, on the back, it says, let's hang out and laugh. Then we have journey here. I heard soul journey. I heard soul journey very loudly. You and this person have been on a soul journey for a very long time. This is probably not your first lifetime with this person. I'm seeing a Taurus, uh, I'm seeing a bull in my mind's eyes, so you could be dealing with a Taurus, or you're a Taurus. Yeah, I'm hearing bull gang, so happy birthday. I, I'm hearing, I'm not where you left me at all. I'm not where you left me at all. They've grown so much. A message from them, please, Holy Spirit. Wow, success, guys, this is crazy. This is crazy. Uh, your person is not at all who they used to be, at all at all like completely at all they will completely shock you um something about you've been telling this person telepathically or like maybe in your dreams or something how beautiful they are i don't know they've been telling you that i think they've been telling you that and i'm hearing by association you've been telling yourself that too so like your self-esteem is increasing a lot 111 on the clock your your self-esteem is really improving pile one focus yeah you're, you're focused so much more on like speaking kindly to yourself speaking positively speaking life what's focus here vision Ooh. Ooh. um wow the focus has shifted they're not focusing anymore on third parties they're not focusing on darkness and depression anymore like they're just not focused on that anymore I don't know, something just shifted. Did, did you guys do something recently? Because I'm being told, like, it, you did something. You did something to, to make this person just, like, kind of snap out of a, what? Oh, okay, I heard you snapped them out of a funk. They were in a funk. Look at this temperance. The hermit, they were, like, really isolated, alone. Yeah, they were, like, really lonely um, and depressed and anxious yeah worried thoughts and, and you just uh you did something i'm not sure what you did but you might have even prayed for them or something the temperance card with god here i'm getting god and the temperance meaning an angel earth angel this person thinks you're legit <laughs> yeah you healed them you healed them um they also think that you're really great at teaching people how to heal others as well 14 and 9 could be important or 9 14 9 17 maybe Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, you have two nines here. Nine of Pentacles. They understand why you take so much time off. So if you if you like have left this person and you don't you don't really talk to them anymore, like like distanced yourself, they understand why. What is it? I'm hearing it's conflict. The emperor. There might be an emperor in your midst that's really not good. Kind of nefarious. From your past maybe i don't know this person's really uh authoritative dictator like you know mm -hmm. they understand you need to get rid of that person out of your life and so they understand the distance that you've created i keep seeing the number eight infinity sign this person and you you guys are like okay well i you're something incredible i don't know if it's twin flames but, but. honey 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 it's something fierce okay This is not your first rodeo. You've done this many lifetimes, you guys. It's like it's like a play. It's like it's like a um like a stage thing. Like you're 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 wow. Well, yeah, what is it? It's like a game. It's not even, well, kind of, kind of. It is. It's like a game. It's like a game. Um, you guys. Okay, so your person wants to tell you that um they think that you guys have done this so many so many times that it's almost like which lifetime should we which planet should we go to next? Which uh which performance should we put on next there's something about like an actor you might be an actor this person's an actor i'm getting lights camera action something about people watch this person we have vision they watch you and they watch this person as well something about like a stage performer that's what i'm getting yeah like like a um like a magic act like a like a houdini i'm not i'm what am i getting they 
Yeah. Oh, they are. This this person's sexy as hell. Woo, honey, honey, honey. Oh God, babe, they do they do some things to you. Okay. Something about Rome. You guys might have seen Rome, either together and maybe in a past life you were in the Roman times or Roman Empire or I'm not sure. I'm getting Rome here. I'm also hearing Rome wasn't built in a day. And you're aware, this person really loves your patience. Especially with dealing with this. This might even be their own ego, but I'm also hearing this is a third party. This is another masculine energy you're dealing with. Well, tell me more about this emperor here. Yeah, there's something about like, I'm hearing stage hand. This person's almost like a, yeah, a necessary evil to make your play come to life or you know what I mean there's something about you two are actors or, or something like that what is this please the the night yes you're so patient you're so patient with this emperor here knight of pentacles okay wait 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 there's something going on with this guy being barefoot here I don't know you know what you love about your person so much? How authentic they are. They really have like this bare bones kind of um, humanitarian life, but also like a, um, a minimalistic kind of lifestyle. They're, they're very hippie gypsy. Like they're, yeah, they're like a, I'm getting traveling band is what I heard. Traveling band. Yeah, like a, like a, like a traveling company, uh, um, an actor company. Like this person would own like an actor company <laughs> or something like that. This person would be amazing at chess. I bet you anything. They're like amazing at chess. Oh, I heard they're amazing in bed too, but, but you know, whatever they can, I'm seeing a T name. They are amazing at bed and, and, the, and amazing in bed. I keep seeing Taurus. Oh my God. And then I heard bull again. And I'm going to let you do with that, which you may. I'm hearing Taurus. This person's a Taurus or you're a Taurus. They have a Taurus moon or something. Eight of wands. Honey. Ooh, honey. Ooh, honey. Ooh, ooh, honey. Oh God. This one. This one's a keeper, babe. We have the star and the eight of wands. Again, this person's a star. For some they're known for their speech they're known for they could be like a politician or you know actually some people would think they're a schmoozer like they could i heard wiggle themselves out of something really dangerous they could do that that would be this person yeah like i'm hearing traffic tickets they they can like schmooze their way out of a traffic ticket oh it's so great i'm hearing like we would never have to worry about that uh -huh. yeah you would never have to worry about that they would just like like, okay, I, I'm hearing they're confrontational in a way. They would be like, I'm sorry, officer, do you know how fast you were going? You had to have gone faster than me to catch up. Do you know how fast you're going? Yeah. I don't know, man. This person's reverse psychology. You know what it is? You know what it is? It's that they're a genius. 8.08 on the clock. They're telling me they're a genius. Some of you might be like, nah, fuck that, Jetta. He's definitely not a genius. Well, I don't know, honey. He won your heart, didn't he? She. This man's an actor, is what I'm hearing. Thespian. This man is such a charmer. He won your heart. Ooh, that's what I'm hearing. King of Cups. I fucking heard it. I won your heart, didn't I? Ooh. Ooh. When it wasn't for sale, I'm hearing. It wasn't for sale, and I won it. Oh, this one is in love. Smitten. I heard kitten smitten. So this person might own a lot of cats. I don't know. Are you own a lot of cats? Okay, Knight of Wands, honey. Casanova. Casanova. Ace of Cups here. Tell me, what, what is the message? I keep hearing thespian. They're, they're such an actor. But it's like a cute, it's a cute kind of actor. Um, I'm seeing someone at the DMV right now. In my mind's eye, like, this person... They could work for the DMV? Are they, like... Something about white hair or very light colored hair. They could work for the DMV, I'm hearing. Or like they work for like um, some sort of delivery. I'm, I'm getting like cars, travel, trucks, um, 
semis. I'm getting like travel. They do something for travel. They, I keep hearing traveling band. They want to like start a traveling band or something like that. I heard if they wanted to, they would do it and, and they would get it. So they haven't applied themselves yet because they know that they'll do it. They want to own something like a, a traveling company or a, 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 an acting company or a stage. I don't know. They did something like that in a past life or something. Tell me more about that. Six of Pentacles. Oh, there's the infinity sign. Guys, uh, I told you. This person knows that they can't argue with anybody else like they can with you. I'm hearing it's such a fun thing for them. They love arguing with you. This is, sometimes they wonder if it's toxic and sometimes you wonder if it's toxic, but that you're both like, nah, that shit's fun. All's, what did, what did I hear? All's fair in love and war. All is fair in love and war. And you're like, is it though? Is it? They actually think that, um, wow, you're like a cute as a button. Cute as a, wow, cute as a button, guys. I keep hearing stagehand, and I don't know why I'm hearing that so loudly. Cute as a button. They want to offer you a ring. Oh my God, guys. I looked at the King of Cups just now, and I saw the ring there on his finger, right? I was like, I don't know. I'm hearing some things. 11, 11 on the clock and there's Page of Pentacles. They want to offer you a ring. This is literally the card of handing somebody a proposal. This person wants to marry you. Marry you. Lock it down. Marry you. Forever. You guys have been married forever. Like You guys fight like an old married couple. Even if you just fucking met. That's what I'm hearing. You have five of swords, nine of swords. You guys, oh my God. You fight like two old 95-year-old people. You do. That's how they knew. That's what I'm hearing. That's how I know it's you. That's how I know it's your soul. That's how I know you're me. That's how I know we're together. That's how I know. Because <laughs> you're just, you're hard-headed. Yeah. Bitch. Four of Wands. You can't make it up. This person, oh, look at I'm hearing a traveling circus or some shit. You two are just like a, wow. Actors or performers, comedians, travel. I'm getting travel here. I don't know why, but I keep seeing like you guys traveling and musicians. Hippie gypsy vibes. Oh my God, you two are twin flames. All the fucking way. This person knows, like, it, they, they, yeah. Yeah, they can, they can like get under your skin and then you get under theirs and they're like, okay, are we good now? It's cute. People are starting to notice that. Hold on, hold on. If you guys tried to keep it a secret, it's not gonna be a secret. Ace of Pentacles, somebody's about to propose, hunty, and people are gonna know. Six of Wands, you can't make that shit up. This is gonna be known. Maybe on stage they might even propose. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Uh-oh. But I'm telling you, stage performer here. This is like a famous person, or they, they're gonna be famous. They're gonna be, gonna be famous. Both of you are gonna be famous. Both of you together are gonna be famous. It's so cute. Anyway, Ace of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. This person wants to offer you like a very expensive ring. But I'm actually hearing a lot of you are like, I don't really need an expensive ring. I'm kind of good with just like anything. Yeah, not even, you know what I mean, guys. Not just anything, but kind of. Yeah, two of cups. You're like, I don't really need. They both have rings on. Ooh, guys. This person wants to marry you. I think I want to marry you. They're a singer. I'm really getting that. They're a singer or an artist. It's a beautiful night. Look at all something dumb to do. Okay, they might have eaten tomato soup recently. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I'm getting. Yeah, tomato soup. Okay. I think I wanna marry you. It's a beautiful night. You guys are wow. You're famous. You're gonna be famous together. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. I'm getting Saggy heavy actually right now. Eight of Cups. This person prayed for you. 
and you prayed for them. That's what I'm hearing. God. Yes, I'm hearing God intervened and stuck, stuck you two together. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I, I don't know what I meant, but yeah, stuck you two together. You guys are just like stuck together. 1441 on the clock. Yeah, you, you guys aren't going anywhere. Shit. Sit your ass down and shut up. You're not going anywhere. It's like you two are such an old couple. But like it's you just you just met or something. It's like my god, you guys, my god. People are starting to notice this shit. Look at the victory and success, bitch. I'm telling you, people are gonna notice your success very soon. You and them together, victorious. Yes. I just heard victory in Jesus. That's bringing back my old Pentecostal roots days. Victory in Jesus. <laughs> you remember? Yeah, no, that was a good song, an oldie buddy goodie. Yeah, in the hymnals. Well, it's your hymnals. We're going to sing victory in Jesus. There's the star card right there. I'm telling you what. You two together are stars, though. Victory in Jesus. Anybody else remember, anybody else remember that from church camp? Oh, it was just me. Uh, there's always victory in Jesus, though. Honestly, guys, Jesus is where it's at. He's my homeboy. I really love Jesus. Um, loved him for a minute. So anyway, point is here, this person might love Jesus, too. They love, okay, look, I'm going to describe this person. They love Jesus. They want to have a traveling circus and they want to buy you an expensive ring when you only want a cheap one. I heard a silicone ring. Like you guys don't even really want anything. Oh, I literally just saw a vision of somebody tattooing something on their, oh my God, this person would do that. They would, they would, they would, they would, they would, they would get a tattoo. Oh. Yes, oh my God. If you don't marry this person, I will, okay? Mm. They are literally the cutest thing I've ever seen in my mind's eye, okay? Cute as a button, and they think you are just the same. They, they told me you're flawless. That's what they said. And I agree with them, I think you're flawless, and I think you're amazing, and I really, really thank you for subscribing to my channel. Jesus. Prosperity, all right, all right. <gasps> Look, I'm telling you, they're rich, man. They're, they're rich. They're going to be able to, like, buy a traveling company. I'm not even kidding. I see somebody in, like, an RV, some sort of... Look, I, I don't know who they are, but they are something fierce. They are, like... They have money. They can buy, like, a whole bunch of shit. <laughs> they have money, all right? Yeah, they have money. And they know when they put their mind to something, they're going to get it. And their focus has shifted to you. Guys, I keep seeing 1717. Totally could be Aquarius as well. 1717 on the clock with the number 17 here. And we had the, um, the, yeah, the, the, the star card a couple times. Honey, honey, you two are stars. It's like it's about damn time you own it. They want to own it. They want to own it loudly and proudly and tell the whole world. Tell them, you want to tell the world, victory and Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, they want to sing it just like that. Oh my god, if you two make an album together, how cute would it be if you were both out of sync and off tune? And it would be so cute. You two together are so funny. I don't, I don't know what it is, man, but you guys are just amazing. Transformation. You transformed them recently. You prayed for them to have more courage in something and they have it now. They have it now. Um, what is it that they wanted courage in? Talent. I, expressing themselves. I'm telling you, this person's a raw fucking talent. And sorry, you guys are so talented together. Oh my God, they see you as the talent. They, guys. I keep hearing traveling band. I'm hearing that. Okay. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave it there because this was so fun and so juicy. Um, they would literally be the cutest husband or wife ever. I'm hearing they give foot rubs too, which is really nice. Again, if you guys don't marry this person, I will. At that, I will leave it there. You guys, I love you so much and I hope you stay a while if you want to. If you don't want to, that's cool too. But I do know that you will be staying a while with this person. Because you are not going anywhere. Mm -mm, sit your pretty ass down. You are not going anywhere. I actually am hearing they, they want to cater to you. Take care of you. Protect you. Provide you. Like this. Provide for King of Wands, bitch. On the split. Okay, Lord Jesus. The higher font. With the star again for like the third time, honey. If this per If he looks like that. Okay. 
You have such a charm on your hands. Uh oh. Oh, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Oh, you know that song, Sweet But a Psycho? I'm hearing that. Oh, she's sweet but a psycho. This person thinks that they're the only one that can handle your psycho, but you're like, bitch, I can do psycho. Anybody could do my psycho. Again, the number 17, guys. Star, a star in the making. Oh, she's sweet but a psycho. She's right, or she's left, but she's right though. Yeah, this person knows that you're right. Like anything you say is right. I feel like if you just called this person out recently, they're like, yeah, no, I needed that. <laughs> it's like, it's like you slap them across the No, I needed that. You're right. You're right, get it together. <laughs> they knew, they knew they needed it. They knew they needed you. They know they need you. What's changing in this connection? Oh, <gasps> the emperor. Remember how I said that was probably their ego? Well, it's being disintegrated. So congratulations. That slap must have really worked, okay? Tell me more. Ace of Cups. It did. Girl, you are disintegrating the motherfucking ego. They don't even have... Well, I mean, no, they have one. Let's be honest. <laughs> nah, let's be real. <laughs> I'm like, they don't even have one anymore. Nope, that's a fucking lie from the devil. <laughs> Honey, that's a lie. That's a motherfucking lie. <laughs> they have, yeah, they have an enlarged, an enlarged ego is what I'm hearing. But um, something about how you love them anyway. You love them even with the with the big ass ego. Guys, this person is such a hippie. <laughs> I love it. They're a nomad. This person's. I heard no man's land. Like they, they, they don't even have friends or something. This person is in a league all their own. And that's what you guys love about each other. This is a, dude, I literally am so good at my job. Sometimes I scare myself. No, I'm, I'm honestly so good. It scares me. I was about to say this is your twin flame and you know it. You're like, duh, duh. A fucking course. I know it. Duh, Jenna been that way for I don't know eons it's like you know and they know and it's like it's cute it's so cute what are they gonna do soon strength I it's all about courage I told you the willpower the courage you prayed for something it's like they're gonna have the strength to come forward because you prayed and the universe is like okay we heard you we heard you you wanted it you're gonna get it Again, number eight. I'm seeing eight a lot. Queen of Cups. It's like you surrendered this connection to the divine 22, 22 on the clock. You surrendered it and the universe is like, okay, we heard you. You guys are in the process of surrendering this connection and just saying like, whatever, whatever happens, happens. And the universe is like, great, great. Okay, so now we can do it. Now we can do what we want to do. Look at this, the high priestess. Yeah. Another number two. So you could be seeing 888 lap or 222. This is your, yeah, this is your twin flame. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh my God, they're so fucking cute. They are so cute. Guys, you have the high priest and priestess here, and then you have the emperor and empress. This is literally your person. They, I'm tell and they're telling me that they love that you speak with conviction, justice. Like you fight for, for what's right and you speak, when you speak, people listen. And, and they are like the same, the same. When people, when they speak, people listen. Um, you guys are so cute. Oh my God, you're like my favorite. I don't think I've ever, ever read something so beautiful. You guys are so cute. You're gonna own a circus together. <laughs> oh my God. No, for real though, if you have kids, I can see them, like I can see your whole family being like a, a, like a circus. <laughs> no, for real. Like with elephants and shit. I'm not kidding, I can see that. Yeah, that's in the cards for you. Congratulations. Cleaning up elephant dung. You're welcome. Guys, this person's so fun. They're like my favorite. I, I love it. Um, anyway, go get you some. Okay, congratulations on the engagement that's coming in. And this person loves to hang out with you and laugh. That's like their favorite thing to do. So I'm going to leave it there so you can go hang out with them and laugh. Okay. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Hello there, Govna. Oh, welcome to your name. Guess what? Somebody's in trouble. Somebody's in trouble with pile two. Somebody's in deep doo-doo. Okay, I don't know what the fuck they did, but they did something real stupid. So we're going to talk about that and why they can't sleep over you.
They're losing sleep, honey. Let's find out why. Ooh, man holding a coin in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse. I heard stoic. This person kind of, well, eh, it's not kind of. They're greedy. They're greedy as shit. I'm seeing the four of pentacles. This person's in a miser energy right now. Yeah, I'm hearing, don't touch, don't touch. It's like my money. Don't touch my money. Don't touch this. Don't touch that. You might be with someone currently that is really kind of a miser, a, a kind of a greedy, oh my God, I heard greedy son of a bitch. I feel like you have an ancestor on the other side that's like, nah, nah, he's a greedy son of a bitch. <laughs> that's the truth, <laughs> okay? You're dealing with somebody who's a greedy son of a bitch. Oh, I like whoever your ancestor is. They're super cool. They're my favorite. Mm. Miser energy. Like, like what a loser. Oh my God, I'm sorry. It's just, if I say that out loud, I feel like your ancestors are pissed. I'm sorry. It sounds so uh, aggressive and mean, and it kind of is. I'm sorry, but it's because you're... And this person's losing sleep too, so they're they're even more in that energy of like miser, greedy, mind, 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 take, take, take energy. So it's like it's even worse. It's even worse. Like this this problem is highlighted even worse because they're losing sleep. So they're not even. Oh shit. Deceit. Look at this. You can't make this shit up. I'm gonna I scare myself with how accurate I am. Look at that! You see the coins just falling it. What the hell did I just say? Miser energy. This person's losing money like a mother. Well, it might even be your mother. I don't know. Or you might be a mother. <laughs> losing money like a mother. It's just all the money. Just flow. They are so worried. If you're getting a divorce from this person, they're worried they're gonna, you're going to clean them out. They are worried that you're going to take them to the bank. They're losing sleep over you, honey. Look at this. Greedy son of a bitch. Broken heart. Uh oh, uh oh. You guys are. Oh, financial. Con Girl, I can't even with this reading. Financial constraints, broken heart. You guys are going through a divorce or some sort of like breakup and they are worried, terrified about money. That's like all they think about is money. They don't even think about you, your heart, your feelings. It's just money, 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 money. Bottom line. Is this going to hurt my bottom line? Uh, yeah, divorces normally do. You can solve that by not getting married or just not getting divorced. But either way, you did both. Pile two, you got married and you're getting divorced. And this person is just so greedy. Your ancestors know it too. Ooh, storm warning. You better get far away from this person, honey, energetically, because your an I feel like your ancestors are about to just wreak havoc on this person's life. And I'm hearing your aunt on the other side, an, an aunt, yeah? Get away. Get away, honestly. Get away, 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 get away. Very quickly. Please get away. Please get the fuck away from this person because your karma is going to be horrendous. Woman holding a coin. Look, I'm telling you, there's something about the King and Queen of Pentacles here. It's like a married couple I'm getting. And I'm really getting like your finances will be fine as long as you move away from them. Keep going, keep moving away. Because if you get stuck in their energy, in their miser energy, you're gonna be paying off their karmic debt. And how is that fair? How is that fair? You're a good person. That's not even fair. Yeah, you, you loved them authentically, unconditionally. The heart chakra is here. You chose love over money. See, that's the thing here, guys. The, the person I'm reading for, you chose love over money and they chose money over love. See, this is your Judas. This is your Judas. I'm so sorry. I know all too well what this feels like. I was with my Judas eight and a half years and at the end of it, I was just like, I, there was a point where I was just like, you know what, honestly, I don't even care if I get a dime. Just please let me out of this contract. Like, please just let me go. I don't want money. I don't want anything. I got pennies compared to what I should have had in the settlement. And I feel like that's kind of what you guys are doing right now. Your, your guidance, oh my God. I should have listened when people were like, no, no, you deserve 50%. You are, you are, you need to be taken care of. I should have listened. I was just like, no, I just, I love him too much and I want to be done and I'm just leaving. First chakra. A lot of you have like root chakra imbalance right now. And that's the place of, of, of stability and um, financial security. And you feel like, like, I'm just going to give it all away or I'm just going to, I don't want it. I don't want it. Your guidance from spirit is please get what you're owed. 
do not do what I did. Because, honey, that bit me in the ass later. Don't do what I did, right? You're, but you're picking up on this person's miser energy. They're very money hungry and, and greedy. And it's almost like you don't want to fuel that. It's like you don't want to be seen as the one that would do that. But, honey, it's their energy. It's not yours. You're entitled to half. It's called the fucking law. Okay? At least in America. Rest and rejuvenation. Very soon, you will feel at ease about this. You will feel more peaceful about this. How? Yin and yang. Exactly. Peace. Yin and yang is peace. And then we have, this is, this is literally actually, I think, the peace sign in some cultures. And then we have rest and rejuvenation. You're going to meditate more. You're going to get good sleep. This person, no. <laughs> Not so much. Nope. But you will. You'll get great sleep. You'll get great sleep. Because you know that you loved them as best you could. To your best. No, you love them unconditionally is what I'm hearing. All tied up. Something about their money is all tied up. This person was your Judas, man. I'm not kidding. Healer. Speaking of Judas, there's Jesus. Okay? I am just saying. If the shoe fits, wear it. If the sandal fits, wear it. This is your Judas, honey. <sighs> what is the message from them? I don't want to know. I don't. I honestly don't give a shit. I don't think you do either. Pile two, you're kind of just so fucking fed up. You're like, I don't give a fuck. I really don't give a fuck. You guys might be just saying that a lot. I don't give a fuck. I'm here for that. I love that. What's on the other side of this card? I can't sleep right now. I miss you. I almost feel like that's what you're like. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. That's nice. That's nice. I'd miss me too is what I just heard. <laughs> I'd miss me too. I'd miss my energy too. Wow. I heard back off. Back off. You keep trying to get this person back off you. Your ancestors are about to wreak havoc on this person for deceiving you. The universe, bitch. It's not even just your an anniversary. Wow. You might be divorcing on your anniversary or it's near your anniversary or something. The universe is literally conspiring in your favor to get you out of Dodge. And what's so crazy is I thought it was just your ancestors. It's not. <laughs> no, it's something far more powerful. I mean, your ancestors are great. That's very powerful. But the universe in its totality trying to get you the hell out of Dodge. Oh boy. Oh boy. No wonder this person's losing sleep. I'd be losing sleep too. Emotional withdrawal. Eight of cups. You are walking away. 808 on the clock with number eight here. Eight here. Oh my God, guys. Literally eight, 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 eight. You are manifesting a way out of this. Prison. Oh God. I heard prison camp. You feel like you're a prisoner in your own home, in your own relationship, in your own, in your own home. Yeah. Something about your car. You might even need to go to your car to rest and re rejuvenate and meditate. I remember when I had to do that, like the only place I had was his car. I didn't own the car. The only thing I had was space wise was to go escape to a car and it wasn't even my car. But because I had put so much good energy into that car and crying and healing and thanking the car for giving me safety and peace and stuff, um, I won the car in the settlement. Hell yeah, I did. That baby was mine. She was mine because I'd, I'd, I'd imprinted on her. <laughs> I made that car my own. She's the only, did she, I keep telling her, it's, it's just she, yeah, it's just she, she's really beautiful. Um, she's gorgeous. And I told her that every day. You're such a beautiful, beautiful piece of machinery. And I won it in a settlement. So. Guys, bless these items. Bless the items, right? If you're sitting in your car, bless the item. Protect it. Put a shield of protection around it. Call on Archangel Michael to protect it. Claim it in the universe. Like, hello, no, that's my car. That's my car. Yeah, my husband, ex-husband, uh, is, is whatevs. He didn't even like the car. He didn't even, it's like 13 years old though. So it's not like it's a, it's not like a, it's not like a um, expensive car. But she's beautiful. I love her. Although she needs a bath and honestly, a vacuum. Like God, it was really embarrassing to take that to the store yesterday. Spiritual union. Um, what did I say? I don't know, I'm going off on a tangent. 
Look at that star hope here. Guys, what is this? We have 1010 10 on the clock just now. And then, okay, so 10s are end of a cycle, right? 10s are the end of a cycle. I feel like you're about to win something in the settlement. You're about to win something. And we have the two of cups with the star card, meaning hope. There is a lot of hope on the horizon for you. 1010 10 is the end of a cycle. You guys are ending a very, 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 very toxic karmic cycle with a karmic soulmate. A very karmic soulmate, okay? This is not your twin flame. That was not even like a, um, like a high level soulmate. That was a karmic that you had to learn lessons with. You're ending that right now, right now, right now. The pain is gone. I claim it. Eight of Wands, right now. Accelerated motion. When? When are we healing this? Right now. Right now, today. Right now, as I speak, you are healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, you are healed. Eight, 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 eight. You are healed right now. It's amazing, isn't it? 1111. You guys, I really do feel like there's somebody new coming into your energy. I'm getting that with the Two of Cups and the Star card and the Eight of Wands card. I feel like somebody else coming in to give you some loving. <laughs> okay. Some loving. Although I am hearing the letter K, so that could be really important. Hmm. Dude, it, I thought I saw the card mo moving on. Moving on. You're about to move on fully. Like, you're just done. You're just done. You're <gasps> All right, well, oh my God, victory and success, okay? And I thought that this card was the moving on card, but it wasn't, so I picked it up and reshuffled, and look at this. Four of Wands in reverse, right under it. Moving on, honey, that's what I like to call magic. That's what I like to call magic. I'll take magic over money any day, shit. I'll take magic over marriage any day. I love the institution of it if it's if it's in love, but this was not love. This was codependency. And a lot of you have outgrown this person. You've outgrown codependency in general. So you don't even vibrate with this person anymore. But the four of wands, this is not a home. This is a prison. Victory and success. You are getting out of this. You are moving on successfully, guys. I love it so much. I'm so proud of you. If you'd like a personal, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching, especially for divorcees, people going through divorces right now, um, emotional support. I help uh, a lot of women that are getting out of abusive, toxic situations like this, if you're interested. Um, otherwise, congratulations. Like, I'm really so proud of you guys because it's tough. It's tough. It's tough to be the first one in your entire family that leaves something behind or in your entire community. You know, you're doing something that not a lot of people can do, you know? And, and I, I really give you kudos to, for that. Um, also, I'd love to see you on Patreon. If you guys are interested for $7 a month, I host um, free readings over there every week. I'd love to meet you, come meet and greet. Anyway, I love you guys with all my heart. I'll talk to you later, bye-bye. Hello there, Govna. Welcome to your reading, guys. Pile three, you chose the wild card pile. You chose the what the hell is this card? I don't know, let's find out. Change your negative thinking pattern with the Four of Wands, the Happy Family card. Something about Georgia. Georgia could be important. I, this person's cleaning up their act. But, but see, I'm actually getting that pile three, this is someone new I think that you just met. I'm being reminded of the reading I just did yesterday. It's the same energy. If you clicked on the pile, I think it was pile three. If you did that and, and you're here for this one, it's the same person. It's a new person that you, you, you just met. Um, wow. They, this person is so sure about you that they're willing to change everything in their life. That was the message. They're willing to change everything in their life for you. Yeah. I heard heavy coffee drinker or like they're into like a lot of caffeine and they're willing to give that up. I'm hearing smoking, bad addictions, bad habits. Yeah. I heard earth angel. This person thinks you're an earth angel. They, they can't even believe how much they've changed in such a short time. And they, they, oh, oh my God. Guys, I shit you not. I didn't look at this card. I swear to everything. When I made the thumbnail, I didn't look at this card, but I, I, I intuitively put a rainbow in the thumbnail for pile three. And look at that, a fucking rainbow. That's amazing. You see what I'm saying? They don't even understand how they just got so happy magically. 144, I'm hearing you're an earth angel, 144,000. You and this person are both. This person is a child of God. They are 
beaming. They are beaming because of you. Um, super cool. They they are changing a lot. They're changing a lot for you. Well, and for love in general. And for themselves. You know, that's always great. But you know what I actually, um, what I believe is, if you're changing for someone else, I know that people are like, you don't change for somebody else, change for you. But that's just it. If you're changing to be with someone else in a really unconditionally loving way, like a very high vibrational healing relationship, you are doing it for you. It's almost, it's, well, it's not selfish, but you are doing it for you. It's just by association, you're doing that for you, for you to have pleasure, for you to have fun, for you to have enjoyment in life, for you to be able to live again. This person feels like you're bringing them back from the dead. So it, by association, um, you, you are, you, you are, uh, <laughs> I heard God, you're, you're God. Mm hmm mm hmm Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Palm tres. This person is new. They're new. Yeah? They're new. New kid on the block. They're new. They're new. You met them maybe at uh, some sort of event and they were new. Like, they're the new kid there. You might have been there for a while, but they're new. They are new. I'm hearing new you, new you. Like, there's something so new about this, new and fresh. It's like, mm -hmm. they're new. They're new. Yeah, I'm hearing chaperone or something. Like, it's like, it's like I need, I need, I like, I need a tour. I need a tour. We have the high priest, uh, priestess. Um, it's like I need a tour around. I need a tour around this place or. It's, it's like it's like you're you're new or they're new. I think it's them. Something about a dream, a dream you might have had. Guys, have you ever had a dream with a tour guide? Because I've had that, and it's actually not as solitary as you'd think. Um, I spoke with a couple people who had the same dream with tour guides. It's actually your spirit team, by the way. Uh, that might even be an alien. Pretty sure. It was an alien. It was an alien. But they looked human. We just were not on this planet. And anyway, I'm, I'm being told and reminded that a lot of people had that dream when I spoke about it. So I think you've had a dream with this person. It's a very similar dream or something like that. Mm -hmm. Fours are very important. Four, four, four. You might have met this person in April. This feels so new. This feels like you just met this person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Why? Why? Why'd you meet? Why'd you meet? Why'd you meet? I, they're asking this so loudly. Four of swords, no. Why'd you meet? And then the four, guys, I'm telling you, four, 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 I'm seeing that everywhere. They're seeing synchronicities everywhere. Look at that, bitch. We got the nine of swords. This person is like in their fucking head about you. Why'd we meet? Why'd we meet? Why'd we meet? Cause it's like meeting you now causes so much mayhem in their life because they're changing so drastically. People around them are almost like, I don't even recognize you, bro. Like, I don't even know you. It's so fast. It's happening. Ascension. Ascension is happening so fast for this one. I'm hearing the... Oh my God. Four of pentacles. You cannot make it up. Four, four, four. They're seeing synchronicities everywhere about you. Everywhere. Literally everywhere. Literally everywhere. Clocks, butterflies. Like they see shit everywhere. Four, four, four. Dude, that's insane. Um, I was hearing the name Tyler and Perry. So that could be important. Tyler Perry. I don't know where Tyler Perry is from. With Georgia? I'm not sure. Uh, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. That's a Knight of Wands, not a King of Wands. They're just going so fast. They're ascending. So fast. So fast. It's making people's heads spin. It's actually scaring them, too. I'm hearing they're in hermit mode right now. Oh, my God. The reading, guys. I don't know. It's so fucking magical. I literally just shuffled in the chariots on the bottom. Fast is moving energy. In Major Arcana, this is fast, 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 fast. Oh my God. People don't even know. They're scared. They're scared a little bit. A lot of it. Because their whole world is changing because of you. Um, I'm hearing it's making them sick. They want to get off this ride is what I heard. Yeah. 
they might even actually be sick. Wow, page of wands. They, they, they really just, I mean, they're happy, you know? They're happy. We have we have temperance here, Sagittarius energy, four of wands. They're happy to have met you. But it's like, get me off this. Get me off this. Oh God, get me off this. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> I'm gonna be It's because everybody in their life is seeing them differently right now. And it's like they have enemies that they didn't know they had. Page of Pentacles. Might even be their own kid. They might have a kid that doesn't like them now. Hold on, please. I just, I heard a lyric, but it was so faint. It's so quiet. Hmm, I heard the name Corey. Oh, dude, temperance, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you are successfully healing this person's heart so fast they don't even guys i feel like you just met this person like a month ago or a week ago and it's already they're a totally different person they are scared as shit they don't know what the hell to do they don't know which way is up they have no idea they're like you are my compass and i cannot lose you if i lose you i'm out of the game for like ever they are wanting to get so much closer to you because of the spiritual evolution that's happening this is a spiritual union they want to get out of the cold. Like if you guys have, have been distant, they don't want to be like that anymore. They can't, they can't afford it is what I'm hearing. The lovers, the four of ones, they can't afford it. They want to be around you all the fucking time. Some of them are even a little bit like worried that you're gonna think that that's like really codependent or something, but it's not. I'm getting like you guys don't actually have the codependency problem that a lot of people have. You're ascending. The divine is, is putting you two together. These angels here are uniting you two. Like, it's not, yeah, it's not codependency. That's what I'm hearing. It's not codependency. So, but I think that they think if they were to come back and, and you knew what they're really going through, that they, that you would be like, oh no, that's weird. Get away from me. But, but I'm telling you, this person's seeing shit like synchronicities. They could even be seeing apparitions. Timeline shifting. Oh my god. They're they're going through it, bro. They're going through it. They want to come forward, but they're just kind of scared that you're gonna be like, yeah, that's weird. You wouldn't. I don't think you would at all. I think you'd be very forthcoming and you'd just be like, I'd love to help you. I'd love to help you. I think you've already been through this, which I think is so cool. The hangman and the, the okay, the shit this person's seeing. Guys. Nine of Swords and the Hangman, the shit that they are seeing. I'm telling you, could even be sleep paralysis. This person gets like, honey, psychic attacks during sleep and shit. Like this is, I could be dealing with a Pisces or Gemini or Sagittarius. They're getting so much enlightenment that it's actually, they're losing sleep. They wanna to come towards you. Yeah. They think you're a mentor. Like they're a student, you're a mentor and they really need help star they need healing they need healing um but 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 like you are healing them though you're already doing that you know i heard we got our own dimension we got our own dimension this person thinks that they're having like astral experiences with you dreams and astral i heard astral pleasurable moments oh okay oh 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 okay <laughs> what? well <laughs> that was unexpected Let's see. Seven of Pents, Seven of Pentacles. I don't know why, but I'm noticing this man's boots. Um, if you've had a dream with boots, Oh man, these dreams. People are having weird ass dreams in this pile. Boots or shoes or something like that. Or the fall time or spring. If you've been seeing like a lot of fallen leaves in dreams. I heard evangelize, evangelistic or evangel. 
Oh my God, the emperor. Look, there's something about <gasps> the boots. I'm just seeing like the boots, something here is, oh, okay. All right, is that what it is? Spirit is telling me, yes. Okay, high priestess. So I had a dream once where I was given boots by Jesus. Jesus came, well, actually, how did it go? Don't remember, girl, it was like 15 years ago or some shit. There was, I was taking a box of things out to the back of this place that I don't even really know. It's like a store. I was taking a box of, of items to the back um, staircase and I was putting it out for homeless people. And I remember Jesus came to me in that dream and handed me boots and said, people are really desperate for these. I want you to have them, but people really want these. And I remember at the time, Boots was symbolizing something. It was, it was significant for doing hard labor, hard work, right? For the kingdom of God. So as a prophet, the boot represents hard work in the physical 3D, right? I can't remember how the boots looked. It's been so long. But something about boots is important here. Like this person really wants to work diligently for the kingdom of God in here. Wow. Wow, guys, something about the boots and how it's touching the earth, right? It's like this person knows that in the 3D, they need to do more. They need to, they need to apply themselves in the 3D a lot more. They might even feel ungrounded because they keep having dreams with you and astral experiences, but then in the, in the waking life, they feel like kind of like dazed and dis disoriented, you know? So your person pile three would tell you like, I'm having a spiritual event on top of spiritual event on top of spiritual event. And I don't know what the fuck to do. They need you bad. This person needs you like, like kind of like water. They need you bad. Mm -hmm. So the boot represents the work that they need to do in the 3d to make their life better. They have no choice anymore. They, okay, they also feel a little bit afraid to tell other people about this um, experience that they're having. You're like the only one they can go to. Some of you, if you're, like a, um, if you're like a shaman or a healer or you're a reader like me, this could be clients as well that are coming in. This might not just be one romantic person. These are new people that you're meeting too who are spiritually evolved and spiritually inclined. And they're coming to you because they need fucking help, man. I'm seeing the word community in my mind's eye. So you might even be helping the whole community like this very soon, pile three. Yeah, I'm hearing demons, like aliens, UFOs, like these people are seeing shit and they need you. Ooh, you can't make it up. Root chakra, I'm telling you, there's something about the boots and the root chakra, the, the root chakra is your lowest chakra that's here in the 3D. It represents the 3D material plane. It represents your connection to earth, to, yes, to like stability, religion, school, all the, all the, physical stuff, right? They need protection. That's what your person needs. Psychic protection. Mm. I mean, this person's so enlightened. They are sexy as hell. I, I, I like looking at this card, you know, I'm just like foaming at the mouth here. Okay, you guys are definitely, definitely getting it in. In the astral plane, oh god. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I don't get to actually see it because, well, I don't think that's appropriate, but I wish. I wish. Sometimes I ask my spirit team, like, can we please do that? That would be great. But I don't get to see you in them. Er, 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 er. I don't get to see that as a psychic, but I do know that it's happening because I'm being told that it's happening. Your person's like, yeah, no, we're there all day, every day. See, I'm even getting the 3D and the 5D. Mm-hmm, honey, yes. They want you to buy you, honey. Their third eye is so open that they are having more and more lucid events in the astral plane, which means they remember more and more of these dreams. So, okay. phallic dreams, that's what I'm hearing, phallic. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, a healer of the ages. But we probably shouldn't talk about that around Jesus.
healing the world. That's what I'm hearing. You two are coming together to heal the world, but sometimes it's nice to take a little pit stop. You know, sometimes it's nice. You know, you know, but you guys have a bigger plan. You guys have a bigger mission here. It's like, that's all fun and games. Super fun, super raunchy. Okay, I'm here for it. But there's like a bigger plan here and it's that you two are meant to help wake up the world and to heal the world. And it's like, it's like Spirit is showing me like a whole bunch of people funneling to you two for healing and insight and guidance. This is like a twin flame thing. And this actually is my twin flame card in this deck. See the two flames? So you two are actually meant to work on collective mission together as earth angels but a lot of you don't even realize how much this person has awakened like how awake they really are can i know a little bit more and again i am hearing some of you this is for clientele clients are i'm hearing they're rushing to you very soon wow very soon oh <gasps> freedom financial freedoms on the way if any of you have been oh <coughs> sorry <coughs> down the wrong pipe purpose if you've ever been like scared <clears throat> about your purpose hmm you don't have to be if you've been smoking a lot too you've been sitting out of the fight you're very soon gonna be able to quit smoking and it's like that's gonna help you bring in a lot of financial freedom too and you're gonna be like helping people because you're no longer out of the fight is what i'm hearing that's how you two are mirroring each other you know how i said that they have this problem where they know they have to do more in the 3D. You guys are way too up in the 5D most days. Like you're really in the clouds almost all day or a day. You know what I'm saying? You might be up there in the clouds. You really need to bring that shit down. Okay, let's bring heaven to earth, honey. Let's come back down. And this is going to give you financial freedom. It's your life purpose to work with this person. Wow, wow. Very, very nice. Any other messages from this person? They are so awake. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's like, you know what torture is? Being awake while in hell that's fucking torture and so a lot of people are rushing to you pile three because they can't fucking stand with the sand what they're seeing is like incubus slender man fucking aliens alien invasion all they have to do is watch the news and already their just mind is polluted with junk so it's like they're coming to you to get real truth okay thank you jesus because honey you know a truth all right and i think it's j-e-s-u-s -S. obedience I, you are really about to just lead like you you are really about to cause fireworks like and you're like i think that people have misunder mis um well misunderstood you but what's the underdog you've been an underdog for so long people just don't even get it they don't get what you're about to do belonging trapped you're going to find your soul family. The belonging card is giving me like your soul family. People that are trapped in this, this paradigm, this 3D bullshit we got going on here. Like what the fuck is this thing? But there are people that are trapped here and you're not, you're not, you're free. You're free to go. Okay. And, but there's other people that aren't. And so they're going to be funneling to you. I'm hearing rushing to you guys. This is crazy. I'm hearing rushing to you. It's not like a trickle thing anymore. Now it's like, Full on, 100%. Let's do it. Because uh, they're being abducted and shit in dreams. Guys, no joke. When, when people talk about alien abduction, like that shit is so real. Aliens are real. Aliens are absolutely real. I've been abducted. I've been abducted a couple times. You got a problem with that? I don't care. Take it up with the floor. I don't give a shit. I've been abducted. One of the telltale signs is like you wake up hella groggy. You wake up feeling drugged. Um, that was the worst for me. But I, I, like it was so cool. I had a friend in my life who was just in my life for that reason. And that reason alone back then. He had literally just entered my life as a soulmate to help me along that journey. At the time, I was going through an awakening with uh, E.T. And he was like, I told him one day, I was like, okay, so the reason I've been distant lately is because I'm really going through something. I want to tell you what it is, but... You know, please don't judge me. And I told him, and he's like, wow, that's it? He's like, you're not the first friend to come to me to say they've been abducted? <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait, for real? Yeah, no, he had a pilot friend. He has a friend that's a pilot, and he too was abducted. Go fucking figure. Anyway. Yeah, no, he's like, you're not, you're not the first. You'll probably not be the last. I seem to be in people's life just to, 
help them through an ET awakening. That dude should get paid. Like, he's a professional. He's a professional in handling weird, you know? And I feel like that's actually the message for Pile 3. You're, you're actually a, a professional at handling weird. Yeah? Yes. And you're going to be helping people in the 3D, like, feel so less weird. Well, it's because you're weird, you know? And you just make people feel safe about being weird. You know? That's really nice. That's really great. You guys are just so weird. What, what a bunch of weirdos. I love it. And it's your star family you're about to find, too. Like, these are star seeds. 22, 22 on the clock. I keep hearing they're rushing in. If you guys are business owners, or like, you're, you do something in the healing arts for the world, I'm telling you, they are coming in so fast. Actually, I might do a collective message about that, too. I'm not sure. I'm being told to, but will I do it? Probably not. Anyway, I love you guys with all my heart. This was super, super fun. You have someone who's awakening to who they really are. And what's so great is they're remembering all of these dreams. Not all of them, but a lot of them, a majority of them. They're remembering the sexy ones. Oh my. They wake up like, wow, hello. What was that? That's what they do when they think of you. And it's like an everyday occurrence. It's like all the time. It's like, well, that's time. They love you, okay? This person's waking up so fast that they don't, people are not even recognizing them, though. They look a little weird. They look a little alien all of a sudden. So that's why you're going to be meeting them and meeting these sweet people that are coming in for help, guys. Love it. I feel like this is actually something you manifested. Door to spirit. Yes, yeah, spirit is bringing in these caring connections for you guys and, and clients, too, is what I'm hearing. All right, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys with all my heart. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.